Research suggests that there is a link between ADHD and a lack of dopamine. And this got me thinking about, you know, what things you can do to get dopamine back. And one of those things that I've learned about, uh, partly due to the rise of someone called Wim Hof, aka the Iceman, is cold showers. In fact, I've done some research and found some anecdotal stories which suggest that cold showers can help. In fact, some neuroscientists at Harvard found that taking cold showers could increase your dopamine levels by 250% throughout the day. So I decided to go ahead and give it a go every day in February, and this is my story. So I'm downstairs after day one of cold showers. Well, say cold showers, so it's been one cold shower so far. Um, not bad, to be honest. So I normally have my shower at number eight or nine on the scale. Today I got it down to three for the last few minutes of my shower. It's hard to say, um, you know, what impact it will have because it's only been one shower. But, you know, overall I'm in fairly good spirits. And anyway, we're in a good period for my general... Uh, peppiness um so yeah it was good it was bearable by the end of the month i want to get it down to about you know number one on the scale and have the whole shower like it because i think that'll be more interesting but of course you know so more data needed but so far so good um the when you go on amazon and t type water thermometer all the results coming up are like the one that i used i'm not how too sure how accurate it was i, I did get a like a cup collect the shower water in the cup as it was coming out and you know stick the probe in there to measure it that way so it should be fairly accurate um so i think that i met the temperature target but if we go all the way down to one um you know i'll be confident that it's definitely cold enough so we'll see how we go you yeah, it was i'm okay i'm cheerful it wasn't unbearable yeah let's just see what happens So here we are friends at the end of February. Overall, how have I found freezing February? Well, it's been fun to set myself challenges every day of dancing and seeing how long I can, you know, sing along to whatever I'm listening to and try and put up with the cold water. And you know, overall I've done probably a lot better than I thought. I wouldn't really say I've noticed any tangible differences. I'd argue actually that some of the other changes I made during February, like getting a cleaner every week, has probably had a bit of an impact on my overall ADHD and mental awareness. Um, also, ironically, you know, they say that cold showers increase your immune system, and I in fact got ill for the first time in two and a half years in February. But obviously, I, I don't think only three weeks of cold showers is going to start having any of those kind of impacts that long-term cold showers will have, so I don't hold it responsible. But yeah, honestly, I wouldn't really say I noticed a massive difference. It was fun to feel quite cheery after a cold shower, but I wouldn't say I had any of the sort of, you know, oh, I could sit down for two hours and focus on work uh, experiences that I saw from some of the anecdotes I read from research on Google and also Reddit. So onward we move. You know, maybe cold showers isn't for me. I'll give it a go again in warmer weather and see how it goes. I also am now moving on to March for March, which is very exciting. So, at the, you know, at the beginning of April, we'll release a video on how that's going, where I walk 5,000 steps a day. So who knows? Maybe that will have more of an impact on my uh, ADHD. Keep an eye out and let's find out. Bye, friends.